Central Morocco is grappling with a profound tragedy as a powerful earthquake, measuring a magnitude of 6.8, has claimed the lives of more than 600 people, according to the country's interior ministry. The seismic shockwave sent residents rushing into the streets in cities such as Marrakesh and sparked widespread devastation in the region. The earthquake struck with merciless force just after 2300 hours local time, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Its epicenter was located in the High Atlas Mountains, approximately 71 kilometers, 44 miles, southwest of Marrakesh, as confirmed by the U.S. Geological Survey. Despite its relative shallowness, the quake's impact was felt far and wide. Many of the casualties were reported in remote mountainous areas, making access challenging for relief efforts. As the disaster unfolded, at least 153 people were injured adding to the grim toll. Unverified video clips circulating on social media platforms, including X, formerly Twitter, depict scenes of damaged buildings and streets strewn with rubble, attesting to the scale of the catastrophe. The victims of this tragedy were primarily in Marrakesh and several surrounding areas. The Interior Ministry identified the affected provinces and municipalities as al Hus, Marrakesh, Warzazate, Azilau, Shishewa, and Tarudant. Reports indicate that tremors from the earthquake were felt as far away as the capital, Rabat, located approximately 350 kilometers from the epicenter. Other cities, including Casablanca and Essaouira, also experienced the shocks. Neighboring Algeria reported feeling the earthquake but noted that it had not resulted in any significant damage or casualties. Leaders from around the world have expressed their condolences and offered support to Morocco in the wake of this devastating earthquake. French President Emmanuel Macron expressed his devastation and offered first aid assistance from France. Russian President Vladimir Putin conveyed his condolences and shared the pain and mourning of the Moroccan people. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez expressed solidarity and support for the people of Morocco. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan extended condolences and readiness to offer assistance, citing Turkey's own experience with earthquakes earlier in the year. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed solidarity and offered his deepest condolences. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu instructed the provision of all necessary assistance to the Moroccan people. The African Union expressed its deep sorrow over the tragic consequences of the earthquake. As Morocco grapples with the aftermath of this catastrophic event, the international community stands united in offering aid, support, and condolences to the affected nation and its people during this difficult time.